Hello and welcome to the newsroom. I'm Tamara Reyakin Kulie, and these are the stories we're following at the moment. The Federal Executive Council FAC has approved the establishment of the Presidential Council of Industrial Revitalization Roadmap. Addressing State House Correspondent and the new Council and his duties, Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment Doris Uzo Kaniti said the committee will be chaired by President Tinubu with 10 subcommittees. The subcommittees will evaluate the policies within different ministries, including the Ministry of Industry, Trade and Investment. Meanwhile, the Federal Executive Council FERC has also approved $26.01 trillion for the 2024 budget and a bill to that effect is expected to be sent to the National Assembly. According to the Minister of Budget and Economic Planning, Atiku Bagudu, the projection is based on the crude price of $73.96 dollar exchange rate at 700 naira dollar he added that the administration will maintain the january december budget implementation cycle and troops of Operation Safe Heaven said it has neutralized bandits with recovery of arms and ammunition in Plateau, Southern Kaduna, and Bauchi State. In a statement released by the Nigerian Army via his ex account, it confirmed that the troops that neutralized armed robbers arrested numerous suspects and got convictions of several criminals by the court between October 9th to 16th, 2023. And the Central Bank of Nigeria has granted approval of Parallel Bank to collect Nigeria Export Supervision Scheme fees. The NES fee is a mandatory payment to the federal government for all legitimate goods exported from Nigeria and comparison both non-oil and oil-based products. The approval was given in a circular signed on behalf of the Director of the Trade Exchange Department at the APES Bank. The Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission, NERC, says the Aja Akuta Steel Company Limited may suffer disconnection from the national grid over gross indebtedness of 25.06 billion naira. The debt is contained in the 2022 annual report of the NARC. The commission warned that the failure to settle the obligation may put the Aja Akuta complex and its host communities at risk of being disconnected by its service providers. And on the global scene, Brussels police have arrested a suspected gunman accused of shooting dead two Swedish football fans in what the German Prime Minister condemned as an act of terrorist madness. Prime Minister Alexander Doku had earlier said the detained man was of Tunisian origin and had been living in the country illegally. He added that someone claiming responsibility for the killing had posted on social media that he was inspired by Islamic State extremist group. And in sport, UFC heavyweight champion John Jones says he believes the former middleweight champion Israel Adesonya is doing the right thing by taking a break from Miss Martial Arts. Adesonya announced on Friday that he plans to take an extended break from the competition following a disappointing loss to Sean Strickland at UFC 293. Adesonya said in his announcement that he is not making excuses for the Strickland's loss, but may declare that he won't be fighting for a long time after to maintaining a ethic shadow for the past few years. And that's all on the newsroom. Thank you for watching. I am Tamilore Akinkwole. Bye for now.